everybody. I'm here with Dr. James Riemer, who is different from the well-known coral biologist, Dr. James Reimer, correct? Totally. Oh, yeah, I don't, to totally, completely. Uh, it, totally different 50%. guy. 100%, 110%. But also Rima also is an expert on anemones. And today we will discuss an important topic. And this topic is anemone licking. There is an epidemic out in anemone licking. So let's look at this video and you, you tell me what you think. So we see an anemone. What, what uh, species or genus do you think this is? Tube anemone. Well, well, definitely. So looking at this here, actually, actually, I think what we have here is um, a serianthid. Mm. Mm. Looks like, you know, it's got, so you look inside, look in the center there. You see those yeah. little white tentacles? Yeah. So what's happening here? What's happening here? What is this man doing? Oh, well, this is, uh, unfortunately, this is, uh, this is a common problem these days. Um, it's, well, I mean, people call it anemone licking, but really this is serianthid licking. This is what this is. This is a, a clear case of serianthid licking. And, and what, what, do you think, what do you think are the consequences for this man in the long term, in the short term? Well, okay, for, for, the, for the human, first of all, for, I, guess, I guess that's a man. It was kind of hard to tell. It was a, a person at least, right? Okay, so, well, for the person, I, I think, Klaus, you have, to, you have to consider two things. One is the immediate area around the tongue. Um, I think uh, anytime you lick anything that's kind of long and slimy, um, the tongue, I think, reacts in a very strange way. It might be a bit swollen, perhaps. Terrible, mm -hmm. terrible, uh, terrible. Secreting some, some, secreting some mucus, I think, perhaps. Yeah. Lots of mucus, swollen mucus, probably a little bit hot to the touch. You know what I mean? Yeah, Something and so, like so, that. so this is what makes it so, so addictive, the hot to the touch. Basically, that I think is what it is. Is yeah, I mean, if 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 you're into the that hot and wet thing, um, anemone or serianthid licking is where it's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. How, yeah. how bad of a problem is this? How many million scuba divers are doing this? Well, so all I have to say is thank God it's limited to scuba divers because you know if if we all had access to this, oh, I don't even want to talk about it. So so you know, but I mean, kids these days, you know, I get I get undergraduates coming into the university and you know i i want to educate them about the the glory of anemones and stuff and and all they can talk to me about is is licking those poor anemones um it's, yeah. uh, it's how, how, how many how many how many times a day would they would they lick them well the limiting factor here is uh tanks basically yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, air yeah. pressure right so yeah. you know i've i've seen kids come in you know with 200 bar and they're coming up with like 10 bar you know they're at three meters yeah. for like two two and a half hours and all the time they're licking. They're licking. Yeah, they're licking. But, but this is the other thing is though, you know, like I think some of them are just like that video. So that, that's that's a serianthid. And and so I think they're mixing up anemones and serianthids. And and that also could give you some uh I don't know what, what would be something okay, weird so, would happen. So there. this is a question I'm asking for a friend. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm asking this question for a friend. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. species of mm -hmm. anemone would, would get you the highest? Okay, so there is uh, there's an anemone called the Hell's Fire anemone. I believe uh, I think some people call it Philodiscus, perhaps. This thing, I think, if you lick this, you'd be on another planet. In oh, okay, okay. Where, where, where can I, where can you find that? I mean, where, where can my friend find that? Where can your friend find this? Well, according to my friend, um, they're all over the place: tropical, Indo-West, Pacific, shallow to deep water, usually around ten meters. So the problem, though, the problem with these delicious well i mean not delicious i don't i don't like them i mean the problem with these uh, anemones are uh they look like other things mm -hmm. like they look like rope or they look like other anemones or seaweed so so my advice would to your friend of course not, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Your friend, um just go out there and lick everything you know yeah, while you're yeah, diving yeah. i mean if that's what you're into i mean i'm not you know yeah, no, right no, 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 no. yeah. but you know like i would just well, not I would. I if, if ah, I yeah, were yeah. No, if your I friend, was, your friend. If I was your friend, I would just swim around with my tongue out the whole time. But then that brings in problems of where do you breathe? Right? Yeah. 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 So oh. you know, maybe do some buddy breathing, you know, take a breath, take it out. Yeah, yeah. Lick, lick, lick a little, little bit. Yeah. Little bit. Yeah, yeah. 
that's like how, that. how my friend or your friend would be. Terrible yeah. problem. Terrible mm. problem. I well, hope and, we, yeah. Well, okay. the other thing is, is no one's considered the anemones. You know yeah, what's happening. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. Here's, exactly. Here's the problem, at least where I am, is the anemones aren't vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anemone so, COVID. Anemone COVID. Serious problem. Serious problem. I mean, yeah, you've yeah. got anemones. Uh, well, especially the, the the more elderly anemones. They're um, yeah. they're getting congested. You know, some of them already have some problems with, say, too many symbionts on them to begin with. So, you know, weakened immune systems. Um, especially the ones that are in symbiosis with the anemone fish, you know, they're really at, at, at risk here. So yeah, I don't know. I think some research needs to be done. But Terry maybe your friend. Terry from, I talked to my friend. Thank you very mm -hmm. much for the advice we are to, I mean, uh, uh, about this problem. And um, mm -hmm. uh, best regards to Japan and talk to you soon. Now, I hope you enjoyed this little excursion into underwater humor. I think it's a big mistake to be serious all the time. Life is too short for that. And nevertheless, James and I are serious scientists and we have a book project. You can see the tentative cover of our book here. Now, the title of the book is Oceans of the Future. So as regular viewers of marine biology, underwater, you know, nature channels, you probably know that there are a lot of environmental problems going on. And when looking at the ocean, of course, climate change, ocean acidification, overfishing, trash in the ocean, all of these are terrible problems. Now, there are a lot of smart people thinking about these problems, but I don't think anybody has really extrapolated this, has thought this to the end. You know, how is the ocean going to look in 500 years? How is it going to look in 10,000 years? And this is what our book is about. What kind of ocean can we expect in the future? So the book is planned to be a popular science book for the, you know, educated, curious layperson, not for specialists. So for everybody who is curious about the ocean and its future, now, here you come in. If you are a publisher or a literary agent who is interested in taking up that book, please contact us. So we have done a lot of reading, of course, uh, about these topics in the book, but uh, we don't have anybody to publish it yet. And so if you think like we do that this is going to be an important book which hopefully will also sell well uh, please contact us i put the links to a detailed planned table of contents of the book and uh, with an outline in the description um i think you're missing out if you're a publisher of popular science if you're not contacting us and uh, so talk to you soon and happy fishes